I'm here with Dr. Heidman here today, and he had an experience with the PCID. I think that uh, it'd be nice to show some of the work we've done thus far. What I like about the PCID is that you can program the settings and you can even take manual oscillation. All of it, I, I tried many different uh, motorized uh, devices and only, more, more, only uh, rotational or also oscillation, but you could never program it. You could never uh, program it down to so, so, so few oscillations per minute. Mm -hmm. And you can, the good thing is you can combine rotation and oscillation. You can program it the way you want it. Uh, there's no other machine. Yeah, there's no machine that has rotation plus oscillation in a given side of the Now, we also know that every patient is different, right? So we, we know that if we're going to be successful in any individual patient, we have to program specific settings for the individual patient, right? That's correct. And is there any other machine that allows you to program the, the settings to, to the optimal settings for an individual patient? No, I tried numerous ones, no other So For a long time, I'm in favor of uh, manual um, extraction and harvesting. And what I like about the PCAD is that you can really imitate and program it to very different settings, but you can, if you do it nicely, really imitate the manual instruction. Well, I noticed today that you went through a number of different programmable protocols. Would you explain what protocols seem to work best for you? Yes. The best protocol for me is to work with uh, rotary oscillation means the initial very short rotation up to the epidermis and then you can dissect the tissue sort of along with tiny oscillations in an angle of 100 degrees and you dissect the tissue scoring through a certain depth, you have depth control as well and you can do the also the the rotations or the oscillations per minute, you can know them, you imitate the manual extraction, but much less fatigue. Ah, I see, so you eliminate the hand fatigue exactly. and the machine doesn't work. Exactly. Now, um, you can also vary the, uh, the not only the, the rate of oscillation, but also the, uh, the angle of oscillation. Absolutely. Yeah. You can sure this so my feeling is the more, the bigger the angle, mm -hmm. then you come to what's rotation, and with rotation you have always the yeah. spin, the spin, and yeah. the danger of spinning the graphs too much. So what uh, what angle did you find was the best? Well, I tried many different angles, but the best, and the most again, the most similar to uh, into manual extraction. I find the uh, hundreds awesome. Yeah. But of course this might vary from one patient to another. Absolutely. Yeah. It's very good one. Yeah. But I would definitely use it again. Yeah. 